about to. Do you get the GoPros out? Or your phone, I guess. Yeah. Show underneath. That's what it looks like. And you just guide it with glue. It's going to harden pretty quick. And harden in the shape you want, roughly. And then you bondo the rest. But this will be the structural. And you can actually get like some degree of control for the contouring and stuff. This is just fiberglass tape. It will soak through this and into the metal and be smooth. What are you putting on it? Super glue. It's going to create a hard shell to start it, and then from there. Um, you can use Bondo, whatever you want. All the normal finishing stuff. As if we've welded this on. This will hold, because this is not structural. This is just aesthetics. It just goes to the water seal. That's it. This is just going to create a structural framework that we can then bundle over and we can also put epoxy over this too but this is just going to do it quicker than five minute epoxy even because we're just like getting it all started and you can do this in strips and add layers to add more length and build the structure out it's just like quick is this supposed to curve down like that yeah i'm following the see I'm just following it. I'm just extending it out where all the rust removed metal and just adding this back, adding something back to it. And this is clinging to the existing metal, so taking on the shape as we go. And 
moving super fast. Look at that, we're like getting stuff done. Okay, why? I don't know if I can send you a video this long. Just get up with a Google map, Google Drive, whatever. Huh. I think I'm just gonna fold it and bring it back. That's easier than cutting it. Why? It's hard to cut? No, well, I mean, it just starts it right away then. Let's come back. Doesn't fiberglass just need water? This is gone. Doesn't fiberglass just need water? <laughs> that's, was, no. That's no. That's all that muffler tape fiberglass that has glue already embedded in it. This is just pure fiberglass with no. Oh, so I'm thinking about cast casting material, like orthopedic cast material. Yeah, that stuff comes with the glue in it. This has nothing in it. I mean, that stuff you could probably use too for this. Okay, I need more glue. I'm pausing. All right. I like the heat you read. It is about time. Oof. Oof. It's hot. Some dripped on me is melting my glove. What? Look. This is reacting. This is some crazy glue. This is not super glue. This is 401, 50% stronger than super glue. It's drying faster than I've ever seen. And it's like burning hot when it cures. Make it tight and smooth, right? Well, right now I'm sculpting in open air, so there's nothing to smooth it against anymore. This is all 
going into open air at this moment. What's Bonzo? You said you put Bonzo on top? Bonzo is a... It's like a sculpting clay that hardens like cement. And so you can smooth out any imperfections in your uh, rough metalwork, or in this case, in your rough fiberglassing work. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'll make the turn. Since this part's damaged too. That's creating a little crease here to tighten up this. So I'll just have a little pocket left, but I want this face to be flush and this face to be flush. So there's too much distance, so I'm just kind of creating a little crease. Hoping that will just harden like that and boom, created the crease. So now this is, all the faces are okay and there's no high points. And now, um, when we go with our filler, we can just fill in the little crease I made. Take it up from here. Well, there's a little gap right here in the fill. This little gap. A little hole.
one more pull. That easy. You still filming? Huh? You still filming? Yeah. Cause my phone's about to die soon. Should I go charge it? No, we're doing this now. I'm doing it. No, I'm building outward now. No, oh, these are thin, thin. You know what I'm saying? You can't make it build it all too outward because the other side's not. No, this part, look, the metal is right here. Oh, okay. It starts going more vertical right here and then it meets. This is already the length we want, but oh, not yeah, this that's part. What I meant. Yeah. This part's missing more. That's why I'm angling it into it like that. So that's structurally, or uh, shape-wise, roughed out. That's finished. So now we can do um, our uh, heavy-duty two-part epoxy, five-minute epoxy pass on all of it to make it strong. Because right now it's still wiggly, and that will make it solid. But it takes one day to fully cure. Um, but we could. Well, we've already covered a lot of the bare metal. 
and this will cover probably the rest and that's kind of the same as like a primer I guess so I mean we could probably spray primer right over that too but we have to scuff sand any metal that hasn't been sanded at all with like Stop. a scotch bright pad or something Stop recording. and we have to tape off everything before we do any spray but well on our way. I'm done with the fiberglassing. Okay, I'm, I'm stopping recording. Alright, so I'm just mixing up some five minute epoxy to go over this fiberglass which I, I just laid. This will solidify it. Can you put my hat on me? It's in the pocket of the black jacket. Okay. My hobo hat. Hey! Hi! Hey! What are you doing? You gotta see this. <laughs> That's what you gotta do to your car. Oh, yeah, I gotta show her the before. Yeah. Hey, hey, this is what it looks like. How? You know, just watch it. What? That? Wow, that's bad. That looks like Mike. And look at it now! <laughs> Look at it now. Look like that. That's it. Yeah, it looks so, a lot better, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't. So what's that white stuff though? We have grinded it. That's fiberglass, and I'm putting epoxy, like a cast, or like that's how snowboards are you made. You leave that know? on there, or you take that off? Like snowboards, how they'll. Oh, you leave that on there? Yeah, this is going to be instead of welding new metal in, we're putting fiberglass and epoxy, just using glue. Look at my car. Can I be next? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can do that. I'm serious. You can do this. I was being serious. You can do it. Can you make my bumper not fall? Yeah, you can do it. This <laughs> it runs. Whatever. I was going to say, it looks like it runs smooth. It does, actually. We just got two new tires on the front. We need a pitman arm, which is something that hooks the two front things and an alignment. But other than that, I mean... It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I got it on right through and through everything. So you have to come off. Is it called Mabel Jelly so that it doesn't, because the next thing you know, it's going to start eating away the whole bag. The last one. I mean, it's a 97, so I mean, it ain't ate it yet. <laughs> Plus, I got two years till I got to run it through emissions, and it's not going to pass it. I oh. paid to just bypass the emissions, actually, yeah. to get it registered. Yeah. It was only like an extra 20 bucks. but Wait, why well, you can do that? Yeah, I didn't know you could. How? You, you just pay. And so my place, actually, instead of getting the sticker, I know most people get when you register, you gotta do admissions and show proof of insurance and all that. Well, um, instead, they just give me a plate that's valid for two years, so it just says come on. Well, let's just do that because you know what? My check engine went back on after we paid a thousand dollars. Yeah, just what? what I'm gonna do that in my car and this car. Yeah, so what I found out so when you go to the DMV, just say, um, I, I, I need to get this car registered, um, but. I know it's not going to pass emissions. Is there any way, you know, say my sister in law just got a car registered? I want to bypass it to buy because you can either buy a year or yeah. two years. Okay, and you say how much? Uh, it was only like 20 bucks extra. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm place. surprised it everyone doesn't place. do it that. Doesn't have a sticker on it. Yeah, because this one, like the check engine lights on there, you won't turn it off the way to the Oh my gosh.
Oh, You got to put it in yourself, though. Yeah, but I need, I need some way to put it in for a little bit. It's just raining. It's pretty windy. Yeah, well, that's pretty windy. Yeah, it's windy. 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 It worked sometimes, like, though? I liked it. I saw it. Yeah. Um, well, it did. And then all of a sudden, the day where it started to rain, um, it just stopped. Or you could hear it pumping. You can actually feel it under your foot. You know what I mean? You can hear, hear the motor going through the feet. But it's not moving. It's like almost like it's stuck. Oh. But I don't see anything stuck on there. But they were working perfect before that. So it was like not even hesitating. So I'm like, it's not like... Well, I have... This car falling apart, I'm trying to save, and my car is totaled, and Wait, it's totaled dad's now? van is parked at her dad's house, Ooh. waiting for me to get to that, so oh, I'm, that I have three cars Where's that, dad at? what? Where's dad? He's kayaking. Oh, I seen his, uh, I seen him the other day, I, was heard, mm. I left him a message. I see him a lot. Yeah. I wish I could help you so much. I, I, I want to, yeah, but and I just honestly, can't. I mean, JP tries. I have to But she works every day, so do I. It's frustrating. But see, she will literally, she's like a MacGyver. Oh. She will drive to work in the rain with her head out of her window to get to her job right down. But then I have to drive home. And then my commute is way farther. And then plus, you know, yeah. and, and it's like heavy traffic. I mean, you can't do that she just takes a little side back oh, I agree. And pulls right up to, you know and there's like stop signs i'm i'm at like a five six seven lane i agree i did that with for double a, turning lanes i did oh it for God. a week when mine burned out i did it for a week and it was so it was horrible i dangerous. heard rain x works good in rain but not like liquid yeah it was dangerous so i can imagine i know i mean i'm freaking out because i was cutting somebody's hair and somebody was like oh, oh my gosh you know what I can do the two-year thing on Dad's van and park it here again. They're gonna tow it because yeah. I wasn't. I was expired, and I was like, I can't yeah. get this light off. Um, if I, I do the two-year, I can bring it back. I actually have my receipt. I'll tell you exactly how much it was. Shoot, I would pay five hundred to do that. All you gotta do is say you want a bypass. And it's, what year is the back of the truck? The truck is like two thousand seven. If it's under a certain year, then it's actually. Like this car was so cheap to get to register because it's a 
Rust is my nemesis. You do. How's it looking, Cass? It's looking like toilet paper, but I mean, I'm sure what what made it black. You have to imagine it when it's black. You're, you're. I'm just shaping. Honestly, compared to what she showed me, it looks it looks better than rust. Anything looks better than rust. And once yeah. you paint that black, nobody nobody would notice that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, and I'm gonna smooth it too with Bondo. Well, I'm I'm next after your three other partners. <laughs> After you build oh, on monkey, I thought you gotta build on monkey. Yeah. Trust me, that is repairable easily. You can make it look I'm, like I'm, new. No, I got two years to finish this up. I'm like, I'm never. Oh, it's a green. Oh, it's a green. This is my. This is, this is my new thing. You're supposed to weld metal on. I we made this for. We were gonna put weld this on. It's a good metal. But we were like. Eh, let's just, uh, or I was like what, cracking up. She's Google like, "Why are you that? laughing?" I'm like, "I'm gonna do something ghetto, and I'm just gonna put fiberglass instead. It's way less work, and yeah. I can get this smooth." <laughs> that's your husband. I know. Imagine <laughs> me out here welding. That's way more work. Hot glue to fill in all the rust. There's a bunch of rust that you didn't get inside, so I'm just covering in hot glue. Whatever. YOLO. YOLO! You only live once! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just building up layers on the back, it's looking good. making it thicker and thicker, and uh, this oh, is thing's going to be solid with all this heavy <laughs> epoxy. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm scuffing all this so that the glue will stick to it better. So I'm gonna go about breathing, but I might, I might, um, if you guys.
This is why I did this. Wait, because you brought it up, and I'm like... Why are you going all the way up? Because this is here anyways. We, we're already going to have to have paint overlap and blend it out and everything. And you you have to scuff paint all of this for the paint to stick. Yeah, but are you going to paint today? No. Nope. You don't do all of it right now. I'm not going down to metal, though. In fact, I'm not even going through the clear coat. That's why it's not turning black. It's just scuffing the clear coat. This is surface level. If you were to buff this out, it'd turn like that again. It's scarring the clear, making it turn non-smooth. If the surface is smooth, it's reflective. When it's non-smooth, it looks gray like this. So this did not even damage the paint job. It just looks bad, but everything will stick now. The glue will stick. I want to overlap glue on all this so that it's stronger. To some extent, I mean, okay, I need more masking tape, and I have more. If you look at the laundry room window, it's to the left, like shoulder height, like right there. Where? Laundry room? If you look, or looking at the laundry room window, it's right here. You know why else I think it's smart that I did this? Because I'm doing, I guess you could say, methods that I know. Does that make sense? Yeah. I thought you do how to weld. I do know how to weld, but to weld and then like perfectly smooth and then there's not a lot of clearance for it sticking out too far and stuff. And I'd be worried the door would seal right if I welded on metal. And in this complex shape with the curving and all that stuff, I feel like the welds would be like way off the ideal shape and, and structure. And this, I was able to really form it carefully by hand, like down to plus or minus one millimeter level precision of exactly how I wanted the curve. And then the rest could be just bulk glue and then sand it down to perfection. Like, I feel like this was just a very accurate way to do it. And so fast. Whereas with the welding, I'd be like grinding, having to use way more Bondo because it would be the correct shape. Alright, I'm just going to yellow spray it, heck with it. First I got to wipe the wax and grease remover on.
pit. Then I'm going to spray it with Rust Reformer. <laughs> it looks pretty bad, but it's way better. Yeah, but we talked about that. Alright. Plus the plastic, the rubber's going over the worst part. Remember? This would be like, like that. Covering almost all that. See what I mean? Yeah. It's going to look good, baby. Compared to before, so we can't have Jimmy and Tommy stand on them. Yes, they can. Don't poison your food. Eat your food. Eat your food, baby. Maybe the mouse is going to get on you. I don't think this thing is going to work anyways. What? I don't think this break is going to work.
What? What? I sprayed with flat black. That's oh. gloss black. Oh, you did gloss right now? Yeah, it would have been flat once it dried. Baby, get out of here. It's, it's too... You're going to get hot. It's, it's really, windy out. No, it's really bad. It's, not it's really windy bad. out. I'm not moving. We got stuff to do. I'm in my chair. Yeah. You're at overreacting. Oh.